Hey guys, good morning. Uh, today's date, it is February the 2nd on a Sunday. And guys, the time in Denver is 626. Guys, right now I am at the airport waiting for my co-workers so we can do a curb swap. I have B couch that is from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Yeah, I had to think about it. But I could be extended by two hours, so possibly four. Um, so that's what's going on. I am just waiting. I got an hour and a half. You guys, I've really been in my feelings. Not in my feelings, but I have been listening to Boys to Men, It's So Hard to Say Goodbye. I remember this song when um, at the end with Cooley High. If you ever seen Cooley High at the end when Coach East dies and they all go to his funeral and Preach was the last one to show to the funeral and I always cry at the end when he dies but I really love the way that they sung it like for what is this this is uh, I've been listening to this like I was getting ready this morning listening let me see it's a different kind of version okay it is it's live at Sirius XM that's what it is live at Sirius XM I'm not gonna play it because the copyright but I love the way they sung it it's three-part harmony so I mean I've always been a fan of Boyz II Men but I just something about that song it just makes me think of my mom and you know the recent passing of Kobe Bryant his daughter and the other seven lives I mean if you like for me I am a lyrical person like if you listen to a song and you listen to the lyrics that's what gets me guys and the lyrics to that song is beautiful um so that's what i've been doing but i'm waiting for someone let me turn this heat on i'm gonna have to drive around because they're gonna make me move yeah they are but i just wanted to come into you guys i'm doing b couch you guys i'm not going to even tell you guys if i'm going to be used or not i have no idea i'm just gonna sit couch and you know what? I'm trying a different look, guys. Let me see if I can zoom in. Let me see if y'all can see the light here. So, I have like green eye shadow. You probably can't see. Yeah, you really can. not But I'm, I'm trying a different look. Like, I like to experiment with my makeup. I'm not a makeup artist, but I like to experiment. So, green eye shadow. I have like yellow in the corner with some red as the overall look like red um, eyeshadow so yeah I'm trying something a little different don't mind me Ooh, I just realized my button popped okay I'm gonna have to fix that but yes guys B couch don't know where my co-workers are at but my check-in is not tip you know I ain't got to be here to eight so an hour and a half so guys I'm going to circle around see if anything is open because I just can't sit here yep so guys I will be back with you and we got couch today, so stay tuned on this beautiful Sunday. All right, guys, so it's 6.49. I was waiting for my coworkers and police. They came out and told me to get on with my business, so I could not just stand there. So I left, and I drove to Starbucks. Uh-oh, and it is my turn. Hold on, y'all. Hey, good morning. Hi, good morning, ma'am. How are you today? I'm doing beautiful. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. Oh, thank you. What are you having today? Yes, I have a Trentha strawberry acai with no strawberries because I don't want to get pregnant. And then I have a double smoked bacon and cheddar sandwich. I'm sorry. Uh you threw me off there for a sec. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's, it's a proven fact. Strawberries are very potent and you can become pregnant. So I always avoid strawberries if I could. Even like strawberry lip gloss. Huh. Yeah. Okay. So that was the trench of strawberry off. Or I'm sorry. You said that. Um, the strawberry refresher. No strawberries. Yeah, there's no strawberries. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> Anything else for you? And a double smoked bacon and cheddar sandwich. All right. And seventy. Okay. And then what? I'm sorry. Oh, no, I so that will be all. I'm sorry. Yeah, no problem. 1071. We'll see up here. Thank Perfect. You. Thank you. Okay, guys. So, you got to educate people. So, yeah, strawberries are very potent. So, just avoid strawberries all the time. But, that is what's going on. I'm going to order this drink. Looks like they're probably at the door. 
so I am going to head back to the airport but I just can't just be sitting there that police officer made it very clear for me to leave and I respect the authority um, so that is what's going on guys again I ain't got to check in at 8 o'clock so this avoids me going to the B concourse I'll just go to the crew room but yes guys you know what and I totally forgot it is Super Bowl Sunday guys like it just dawned on me it sure is so I'm not really a big football fan oh excuse me not sure who you guys are going for but that's not really my thing so yeah I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of festivities today we do have a base in Miami that opens up next month but yes guys I have really been thinking about switching bases I was thinking Vegas possibly Miami I don't know guys it just all depends on which one I can get a line so we will see but I am next yeah I am next in line so guys I will be with you when I get settled so stay tuned all right guys so I'm at the airport and I'm trying to contemplate something the escalator is down and I cannot get upstairs I'm just going to show you like I have all my bags but look at this this happens all the time like look it's not even working and I have to tote all this up there I'm at Los Flores right now like I am just contemplating what to do because I cannot get upstairs without a cider badge and I don't have one so that's a lot of exercise and these bags are heavy so I'm gonna have to wait for someone possibly with a badge to let me up the escalator because I can't get up there and I don't know what to do dang that's crazy all right guys so that's the dilemma i'm facing this morning so i will be with you shortly once i figure out what i'm going to do i have no idea so stay tuned okay guys so i have made it upstairs i checked in what happened is i was unable to carry all my luggage upstairs so I had a very nice flight attendant help me. So Joe, thank you so much for helping me with my luggage. So right now guys, the current time in Denver, it is uh, 7.53. So guys, right now I am uh, just chilling. I checked in for B couch and again, uh, eight to two. I can be extended up to two hours, so possibly four. Um, so I don't have anything planned. I'm just going to sit here and, uh, you know, um, drink my little drink, eat my little sandwich, and mind my business, guys. That's what I'm really about to do. But underneath my wig, guys, like, I have braids, and my braids are so nappy. Like, it's really hard for me to find a black hairstylist where I live. And I don't know anyone out here in Denver or in Colorado. So I'm just going to have to man up and do my own hair. So I went to Walmart Tanner, Meryl, and I spent Tanner. a lot of money. Please I had to buy a flat iron, um, your shampoo, food. brushes, Meryl, combs, Tanner. gel, edge control. Like I had to get all that that I have in Phoenix. Um, so I bought some, how do I explain this? I bought like the little clip on bangs with the bun. Y'all know what I'm talking about, like the two piece. So I wanted to wear those and I just want to do something different with my hair But I need to wash my hair and I'm telling you guys my braids are just so disrespectful like That's the one thing about me and it's not that I don't have hair my edges are thin I tell everybody me and my edges have been divorced since probably 2002 because I did a lot of damage and I told every you know everybody in the most recent years that 2020 was my year my edges were coming back but they are not back guys my edges are gone so they are playing hard to get but i have hair i have a good length i'm not bald headed by any means it's just that my edges are you know like i said none they're not even there non-existent so that's what i was trying to do is look for black hairstylists it's really hard to find them where I'm at. Like it really is. I don't know anyone who can braid hair. I need my hair washed, conditioned real good, my ends trimmed, 
flat iron and I think I have 4C like my hair is like a coil you know what I mean like a really like I don't say a nappy coil but it's really hard for me to manage I hate doing my hair I hate it with a passion and I was thinking about doing a big chop but I'm gonna hold on to these dead ends like it's a bad relationship because I have length but yeah guys that's what's like really going on so I'm just gonna be like I said chilling out might go get something to eat later on because I get paid on the 5th and today is the second so hey yeah um we'll see what happens as the day progresses but yes guys it's 7 56 i'm gonna have my little breakfast watch my little shows um i might do netflix and chill in the uh crew room i don't know i don't know who i might see in the crew room guys but you know like as always when i sit couch okay i will come to you guys with any updates so yeah so stay tuned Stay tuned, the day is not over, it is just beginning. Hey guys, just coming to you guys with an update. So uh, the current time in Denver is 11.22. All right guys, so since the last time I talked to you, I took me a hot nap in the crew room. I'm very tired. I was up a little bit late last night, so that's my fault. But sitting on a couch, you are able to go to sleep. The main priority is to have your phone on loud. So I have my headphones in, but um, there's not really too much going on. I am a little hungry, but I'm just gonna kind of sit it out and wait. Not sure what I wanna eat, what I wanna do. I really don't know, guys. I'm just passing time right now. I'm talking to some other reserves in the crew room. Um, talking about Miami, like I said, I would definitely get a line if I transfer to Miami, but just going through this whole process again, like finding a crash pad, you know, deciding if I want to take my car out there, if I want to relocate, like all of this is a little bit stressful, so I'm not sure if that's going to happen, um, but I was very surprised that a lot of people are going out there so usually with a new base it's kind of risky you know it's like you're taking a gamble so i'm not quite, sh quite sure i'm ready to do that like i'm not a gambler you know the only gamble i take is swiping right or left on tinder but Love. Yeah, guys, that's what's Please really going on. Right I'm just chilling. I got less than three James hours. Love. Well, yeah, less than three hours unless I'm extended. Um, so that's what I'll be doing. Michael gets something to eat a little bit later on, so we'll see. So I don't know, guys, but um, yeah, I will be with you guys in a few more minutes. Well, I will be with you shortly. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, Probably just go back to the room, watch a little TV or Netflix. I don't know. Couch is just one of those things, guys. You just have to endure six hours, possibly eight. You're just sitting. Like, if you have things to do, if you have schoolwork, if you can be productive, couch is perfect to get that done. Um, what I plan on doing is that I have... Uh, so I had a four-day block that started on the first. Since today is the second, if I'm not used... That means I'm good for two more days, right? The third and the fourth. Um, I will bid for a two-day trip. So that will be my next thing is to bid for something. And I do see a couple of trips that I want to bid for. But I don't want to get my hopes up high because I'm not the only person that's good for a two-day. The competition is fierce. Okay? And I'm not good with that. So uh, that will be the next major thing is bidding for a trip. Try to fly somewhere so I can get that good per diem. I guarantee you guys my check on the 5th is going to be beautiful. I cannot wait to show you guys just so you can get an idea about this lifestyle. So when I tell you guys about picking up on your days off and getting trips with good per diem, you can see it in my checks, boo. That is what it's all about. It's about sharing the knowledge. You see what I'm saying? Had I knew or had I known what I know now, I would be better prepared. And that's why I want you guys to be better than me. That's what it's all about. History should teach. Don't repeat history because then it becomes, you know, like a mistake or whatever. So that's what I'm trying to do is just kind of show you guys. And of course, your results will vary. But just be consistent. 
you know that's the only thing just like I'm about to be consistent and go back in that room and sit my tail down and wait okay so guys I will be with you if there's any more updates if I should go somewhere I don't know what I'm gonna do but hey this is B couch and we got into two o'clock unless I'm extended to 4 p.m. so you guys stay tuned anything can happen Alright guys, so I finally went and got something to eat. I am at Quiznos. And I'm going to show you guys what I ordered. I always order the same thing. Okay, but I ordered this, the honey bacon club. Um, just the turkey, ham, and bacon. And the cheese, no lettuce, tomatoes, onions, honey french dressing, and then I get extra turkey. And this is the sandwich. Beautiful sandwich guys. So I'm gonna eat six inch now and six inches later. I got some chips here and then I got water that I bought from my crash pad. This is the kind of water I drink when they don't have aquafina. And guys, this is the time right now in Denver. Super Bowl Sunday is 12:49. Alright guys, so I have about an hour left on my couch and in 11 minutes I'm going to bid for a trip. There's a couple of trips that correspond to my two more days that I have left on my reserve clock period. So I should be home in time to watch the Super Bowl. Even though I'm not a fan, I'm pretty sure it's going to be exciting. Um, there's a lot of males in my crash pad, so I'm sure they will watch it. But I have a really good view of the airport. I'm at a whole different gate. So let me kind of show you guys real quick. So it's a beautiful view to the outside. This is the back of the airport. So. Alright guys, so that's what's really going on, not too much, I'm just going to eat the sandwich because I'm starving, um, i got an hour and 10 minutes, I doubt that they call me, but again I can't be extended to 4pm so anything can happen, that's the thing about couch is unexpected, anything can happen, you can never be prepared, so this is what I'm doing today. All right, any more updates? Guys, I will be back with you. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. It's almost over. Who knows? We'll see. But stay tuned. All right, guys. So I am officially released from couch, guys. I am so, 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 so happy. I thought they were going to extend me, but they did not. Um, so I, I guess I have time to go home and watch the game since that's what everybody's doing today um, but the local time in Denver guys is 2:14. Um, so I do want to give a huge shout out to Matt I just met Matt in the crew room he just graduated 1918 um, he is doing his IOE Matt I know you're gonna pass thank you so much for watching my videos you're gonna be doing great and if I go to Vegas, I hope I fly with you, Matt. So congratulations to you. And congratulations to all the classes. Like if you pass any airline flight attendant training, congratulations to you because it's very tough. It's a period of time in your life where you have to focus, you have to make sacrifices. And if you're like me and you've been out of high school for a while, just that studying and it's really, really stressful. So if you can get past training, you deserve an award. Like seriously, wings are not enough. Like you should have your rent paid for a month because it's hard. It is so hard. Um, and I thank God I went through my training and I passed. But um, guys, right now I am at the place where we do a curb swap. So I'm waiting for another crash pad mate. Someone's dropping off the car and we're gonna switch, you know, curb swap and go home. Um, so that's what I'm waiting for. So I'm on reserve for two more days, guys, bidding for these trips. Don't know if I'm going to get anything, guys, but I'm still going to try. That's what it's all about is basically bidding for things. Even if you feel like you don't get it, still do it. I tell everybody, you either going to bid and, you know, create trips for yourself or you can wait for crew scheduling and sometimes waiting from then you may not get nothing. So I'm going to take the initiative because, like I said, 
my bills are very mature, but my income is childish. Those two don't go together. So I gotta make money and I'm gonna do it the right way. And I'm gonna do everything I can to make sure my income supplements my lifestyle before I became a flight attendant. Within reason, guys. So this is why I'm not in a hurry to move to another base because I'm trying to catch a line. So if I can catch a line somewhere, I will be there. But right now, guys, I am chilling in Denver. Um, so right now, guys, what I'm doing is looking at our bidding system and see if there's anything else that I can bid for. Or I don't see anything. So I'm going to just keep it open because the bidding closes at 4. Opens up at 1, closes at 4. So I still got almost uh, under 2 hours. But all right, guys. Super Bowl Sunday. I don't know uh, who y'all going for. Like I said, I'm not really a huge football fan. That's not my thing. But are you going for the 49ers or are you going for the Chiefs? So by the time y'all watch this video, we will know. But yes, that's what's going on, guys. So again, two more days of reserve, the third and the fourth. I'm off on the fifth. I'm going to try to bid for something, so I don't know when my next trip is, but I go back on call at 1 a.m. And the reason why, guys, is because you have to have a minimum of 11, hour, 11 hours of rest when you are at base. So because I was released at 2, I go back on call at 1. Make sense? So yes, go back on call at 1, so we'll see if they give me anything or if I can bid for something. But guys, until my next trip, you guys be safe, have a blessed day, watch the game, and we'll talk later. Bye guys. Alright guys, and here is my January schedule. We're just going to take a quick look at the schedule so you can get an idea of the flights that I took. Okay, so let's see. So guys, so the first is a flight um, that I picked up second I was off the third I bid it for it was the trip to Miami really good per diem the flight on the sixth that is something that was I believe assigned to me by cruise scheduling as you can see it was a two day the eighth I was off the ninth I was assigned a couch which is from 5 a.m. to 11 a.m. that's what the RSA mean all right and then um, the trip on the 11th to Atlanta, remember it had a check-in on the 10th. It was a fake three-day. I bid it for that. Then as you can see, I was off on the 13th and 14th. RSB is B Couch. Now this one is from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. And remember with Couch, you can be extended by two hours. And then the 16th was a trip that I bid it for to MCO. So as you can see, the trip, it ended on the 18th. The 19th is a trip that I picked up. It was a turn. The 20th, I was off. Now you can see the 21st through the 23rd was a three-day block. I was not used. The 24th, I was off. Now the 25th, guys, this is a trip to D.C. Now I picked up this trip originally on the 25th. So these were my days off. And as you can see, the trip ended on the 26th. Now the 27th, um, it was a start of a four-day block. As you can see, I was not used for the 27th. The 28th, guys, this is another trip I bid it for. So this one was a double layover in D.C. And that is how I ended the month with the trips. Now, as far as the top here, Guys, this is the most hours I've flown. You see my block was 59, but I was credit for 8112. So our guarantee is 75, right? I broke guarantee and the 8112 um is what I've actually flown and that's picking up stuff on my days off included. So as of uh my January schedule, those are the hours I have flown year to date, 90 hours and 54 minutes. And then in the month of January, I had eight days off. So remember, everything that I did in January, guys, will reflect on my February 5th and 20th paycheck. 
So I just want you guys to get a look at that before I go into those paychecks. All right, guys, and let's look at my paychecks. So you see my first paycheck was on the 5th of February. So let's look at that paycheck together. All right, and this is the amount. You see the pay period paid on the 5th, and this is the 37 and a half hours. So this is actually my first time, so we're gonna look at this together because I never look at anything. F9 card and cent, guys, this is credit cards which is paid on the second check. Zero dollars current, year to date, $50, which means I thus far had one credit card approved. F9 FA tips, again, second check, year to date, 8197. HSA, this is the, the insurance, I believe they're giving me 37.50. This is new, so I'm assuming that's what that is long-term disability 342 none tax per diem now guys remember the first check we get is our per diem as you can see that is the amount all those trips that i did in january where i had good layovers and good per diem it paid off for this check 431.57 all right i did not get anything for the parking pass i believe that is also on the second check regular pay that's just that 37 and a half hours guys times 2356 and that is my regular pay right there and uh, the other regular pay that's hours that I've worked outside of my um, reserve block again second check not on this check taxable per diem so remember guys any turn that I do and what I mean by turn, I'm saying like Denver to San Francisco, coming back to Denver. If I am not doing a layover, they're going to tax me on my per diem. And this is actually pretty low. $29 compared to what I made. So this is the highest amount for my per diem. That's, uh, well, actually, as of today. All right, deductions. Okay. <sighs> don't have too many uh, deductions here not too much came out of my check so they took that 37.50 my HSA they took um, the LTD which is the long-term disability remember our dental and vision is free so you're gonna always see zero dollars okay guys this must be the end of my uniform uniform deduct two. If they took 34.45, that means that that was the remaining balance of my uniform. Okay, I will see on my next check. And then the value HDHP, guys, that is my insurance. Oh, wow. Okay, guys, union dues. So it finally came out. This is the very first time. Union dues, so it's $25. I believe it's $50 a month. But as you guys can see, We'll see on that second check. So union dues came out. And remember, vision is free as well. Taxes here. Those are the taxes they took out this check. Okay, so guys, as far as um, a per diem check, this is the highest amount I've made up to date. Okay, so this was a really good check. And the only reason why my check is so high because again, I bid it for trips that had good per diem. So as you can see, that amount, 431.57, really carried me through, guys. And that's why you really need to be um, selective with how you bid for trips. Because again, as a reserve flight attendant, we are chasing per diem. The only time you really should be focusing on credit hours is when it's your day off. But if you can get a trip that you picked up, that has high per diem and good credit hours i'm telling you guys it's going to benefit because this is my highest per diem check to date all right now let's look at the next check all right so the one on february 20th now as you guys can see this was also a great check so let's look at this one okay you see the pay period paid on 
those other hours there. All right, so guys, the credit card, zero dollars because I had none that was approved. So on this check, nothing. My tips, seventy-two fifty-one. So again, guys, never be too proud to ask for a tip when you rank up a service on your tablets. There is a function that allows the customer to tip you. And guys, I'm gonna tell you right now, from experience, there has been times where I have skipped that step because I didn't think the passenger was gonna tip me and they went back and added a tip. So never be too proud to ask guys. They really pay off in the end. Okay, now time and a half. I worked my outside hours of what is given. So remember, we are guaranteed 75. 37 and a half on one check and 37 and a half on the second check. So as you can see my time and a half guys 206 74. Okay, HSA. They gave me 3750. LTD, what's this um I believe long-term disability. Non-taxable per diem. This is all on the first check. So the check on the fifth. Parking pass $36. Now, regular pay. So we got my regular pay, and then you got my regular guaranteed time. So that money is what um, I get paid for my 37 and a half hours and any other remaining hours, right? So that is the regular pay. These are the hours, the regular guaranteed time is outside of that 37. So those trips I picked up on my days off, that is the money amount of money I made $313.82 and regular pay is that 37 and a half. I don't know how they calculate that, but that's what that is. 37 and a half hours. Um, no taxable per diem because that's on the first check. All right. And then deductions again, I don't got like life insurance and things with the company. So that's why you see $0. HSA contribution zero because I have for some reason guys when I signed up I didn't like contribute to any so that's my fault but yeah and then they took away the 37 and a half the LTD remember dental is free and yes guys union dues $25 so yes this is definitely $50 a month uniform deductions guys zero so i finally paid off my uniform thank god all right so i don't owe anything and then value hd hp is the insurance vision plan is free remember vision dental all right and this is how my taxes broke down here all right and this is how that second check in february looked so this is not my highest amount, but as you can see in February, guys, um, I've made over $2,100, which is not bad. So $2,100 a month, this is kind of looking like what I was making in Arizona, guys. So this is a really good check. So these are the checks in February, guys, and that is how I was paid. So we're going to just start doing more of these and let you guys see my checks, but yes, so um, January was a good month and that's why February was even better. So yes.